Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be doing a reading about the person that you are thinking about or connecting with, what are the energies between you, and then we're going to look at how you feel about each other. So let's jump right in and see what messages we have for Aries. Spirit angels, guys, messages, please, guidance for Aries. What does Aries need to know, Spirit, regarding love with this person that they are thinking about or connecting with? What do we need to know about the mutual energies here and the energies between Aries and their person? All right, Aries, let's start with the mutual energies between you and this person. What's going on between you and this person? Spirit, what's going on between Aries and this other individual? What are the energies here? Six of Pentacles. So uh, equal give and take, uh, mutual feelings, both on the same page, giving to this, giving to each other. Um, sometimes the Six of Pentacles can mean that there's an imbalance. Maybe one person is giving more than the other, but I'm not really picking that up yet here. So let's see. What else do we need to know about what's going on here? I'm more like feeling like this is someone giving to the other person what else do we need to know page of wands taking the initiative first steps interest yeah this could be that somebody asks you out aries or invites you somewhere tells you that they're into you or interested in you what is this ten of swords doing here ten of swords and five of cups Oh my goodness. Okay, so I feel like maybe this is someone that's coming back after some sort of ending or someone's able to come back because of this Ten of Swords. Like maybe this Ten of Swords happened in their life. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Aries? Eight of Wands. And then the lovers at the bottom of the deck, Gemini energy there. I really feel like this is someone that's coming in after an ending Aries. This could be a past person. They might be wanting to talk. Um, I don't know. There's interest here. Like It's like they're watching you or keeping tabs on you. Very attracted to you. Something to do with like... Um, there's something you're doing right now that this person's like keeping tabs on. Maybe you're graduating, moving, um, starting a new job, something. Tell me about the energies here in this connection for Aries. What can you tell me about the energies in this con connection spirit when it comes to Aries and this other person? What do we need to know? Falling leaves. Time changes everything. So maybe some time has passed here, Aries since whatever separation happened. I'm still getting that some of you are dealing with someone that something happened in their life and they're able to make a move because of that. Like I'm not picking up that this ending had to be between you, but I don't know, I feel, we'll, we'll see what else comes out. But whatever this Ten of Swords was, I'm not picking heavy energy. So I think it might've happened a long time ago we have pure seduction, exactly. I feel like this person is very uh, interested in you, drawn to you. Um, there's like an attraction here, temptation, desire. Can I get one more? What are the energies here between Aries and this person? Moving forward. That's like that Eight of Wands here. You're moving forward into a new chapter. I feel like someone, after some time, is coming forward because they want to move forward <laughs> with you. That's what I'm picking up here. And bottom of the deck is divine timing. So there's something here with timing, Aries. Like it's the right time, time has passed, enough time has passed for something to happen here, etc. etc. So I'm gonna jump into both of your energies separately. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you, Aries. Spirit, tell me about Aries. What are their energies when it comes to this person, this connection? Tell me about Aries. 
Page of Swords. Aries, you might be keeping tabs on them, or this is a message that's coming towards you. Wow, the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this person is going to make you an offer. It won't be something that happens quickly, but I feel like someone's coming towards you with this Knight of Pentacles and being like, hey, let's talk. I have something to tell you. Um, I feel like this person has hurt you, though, Aries, with the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. And my deck is splitting. The Moon, Pisces energy. So I feel like um, there's a lack of clarity that you have here about this person's intentions or this connection. Maybe you have a bit of doubt or confusion. Um, don't really know how to, you know what to make of this. Tell me about this Page of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. This could be also what you are desiring from this person, that they talk to you and make you an offer. Tell me about the Page of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles, please. Why is the Page of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles here? The Four of Pentacles. I think you've been waiting for this person. The Sun at the bottom of the deck. I think you would be happy to hear from this person because despite whatever time has passed here, Aries, I feel like you've held on to the idea of being with this person. Let me know if I'm right about that in the comments, but that's what it looks like here. Like you've held on to this uh, connection despite whatever happened. There's some sort of value that you put on this connection. Um, some of you might be holding back because you're afraid because of that moon energy that showed up like you're not sure if you should you know jump into something with this person tell me more about aries tell me more about aries spirit what do we need to know about their energy okay this one mermaid rebirth transformation renewal i really feel like you um you want something with this person. This person could come to you as a changed person to tell you, hey, I've changed over time. I've learned some lessons um, and I'm ready to try again in a different way. I feel like a lot of you are thinking this could be a possibility here. Like you could be with this person. If, if, if things are done correctly, I feel like you would give this person another chance. Some of you, and this is only a small number of you, I think this person is coming towards you because something ended in their life. And when they come towards you, this could be somebody new, for example. I think you're still holding on to someone else when they do come forward. Let's get some PS I love yous. Tell me more about Aries. Tell me more about Aries. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about how Aries is thinking or feeling about this connection or this other person's spirit? Tell me more. Taking charge. I think in your mind, this person, I think that's why the Six of Pentacles is here. They have to show you or prove to you that they're willing to do the work. I feel like this is what you want. You want someone to take the initiative to do the work that this requires. Bottom of the deck is no contact. So maybe you and this person have not been talking. So when they do come forward, it's not gonna be something you're like, okay, let's jump right in and just start. No, it's almost like you wanna see them make an effort or put some energy into this because that will at least give you an idea of how serious they are about this. Some of you, there's something that you're doing with like work, business, that someone else like is watching you do, admiring you from afar. Heartfelt apology. Yeah, I feel like this person, they might apologize to you. I don't see this in their energy just yet, but I'm going to jump into their energy now. So it might show up there. I think for you, it's this apology needs to come with work. It needs to come with effort. Like it needs to be backed up by effort. You will always be in my heart at the bottom of the deck. I think this person's from like your distant past. Some of you, I feel like this is like a long time ago. Okay, let's look at their energy. 
Spirit, tell me about this person that Aries is thinking about or connecting with. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this other individual? The Nine of Cups. Okay, so wishes granted, feeling satisfied, having a desire. Once again, this person is going a lot by like in instinct. The Emperor, there you are, Aries. I think this person is going to show you the effort. The Emperor is definitely a doer. Very decisive, mature energy, masculine energy there. Wow, the tower. Holy smokes. And the three of wands. So when I see the tower with the three of wands or like the seven of pentacles, I think um, something that happens out of the blue. Um, it's like sudden as well because the three of wands is a card about kind of waiting with expectation. You know, you're waiting for something to come in, for something to play out. And but you're not really doing anything. You're waiting right and then here's the tower and it's like boom <laughs> something happens really quickly so i think this person i think that they're going to surprise you and if there's no contact here that makes a lot of sense that makes a lot of sense because you do not expect a message a text a call from this person tell me about this person's energy when it comes to aries what is their energy when it comes to aries Hero, bravery, strength, loyalty. Yeah, they're going to show to you like someone that is like, I'm here. <laughs> I'm going to do what's right. I'm, I've been loyal to you. I'm going to be an emperor so that I can really make a difference here. So that we can move forward into a new cycle. Oh my gosh, goblin, untrustworthy, trickster, avoidant. Well, those two are opposite energies in the bottom of the deck true love's kiss dating love soulmates so what i'm seeing here is i feel let me clarify this goblin before i say that so these are opposite energies the hero and the goblin tell me about the goblin tell me about this goblin energy spirit what do we need to know about this goblin energy what do we need to know the queen of cups okay so and then the queen of pentacles so this is what i'm seeing um here with the goblin i think that this person is going to show up as a hero but you're only going to be able to see them as a goblin because of the past i feel like you don't know if you can trust this person leo um not leo aries i have not even done leo today some of you could be dealing with a leo um, but I feel like this is somebody that, I don't know, it's almost like they can't win. That's the energy I'm picking up. Even when they show up with their best, the past is like haunting this connection. Something happened in the past that this person really needs to apologize for. They really need to kind of take responsibility here is what I'm getting. Tell me about this person's thoughts, feelings when it comes to Aries. And the thing is, I feel like they're, they they do love you. They do care about you with this Queen of Cups. Like, this is how they feel. So I don't think that this is someone with bad intentions. I just think that they're going to be seen as um, someone that's taking advantage of, or, oh my God, my deck is like, okay. They're going to be seen as someone that's like trying to take advantage of the situation or isn't really serious. Um, isn't trustworthy and I don't think that's this person's angle at all I I hope that the way they approach this with you is from this angle of I know that this is surprising I want to talk about what happened I want to apologize you know like start off that way every time I want to reach out something stops me I feel like they've been wanting to reach out for a while and they just have it because of what I just said I have so much to tell you or there's so much I have to tell you. Yeah. They have a lot to tell you. They just, they haven't felt like they could before is what I'm getting here. What's at the bottom of the deck? Destined union. So I feel like this connection is from long ago and it's someone that wants to come back, Aries. 
I do think that this tower, um, there's something behind this tower. I need to clarify it. I'll probably do that in the extended because I feel like there's something here that I'm not getting. Um, like I think this tower is all about how surprising it's going to be that this person communicates. But I'm also thinking that there might be something that happens in this person's life that might also be a tower. They're going to try to come to you with an open heart. That's what I'm getting. They're going to come to you with an open heart and they're hoping that you're able to move past what has happened with falling leaves and moving forward. It's like now that time has passed, I still have these feelings, this interest for you. I'm wanting to move forward from whatever happened. However, you know, you have to be on board with that Aries. Like you have to be okay with that. So that's what I have for you, Aries. Thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this reading. I hope you liked this video. If you, if you did enjoy it, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching once again, and hopefully I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.